Mallory White from MEMA, thanks so much for joining us. Mallory, the day after that tornado touches down in a Moss Point, what is MEMA learning about that storm, that tornado? So the preliminary uh, assessment from the National Weather Service in Jackson is saying that it was a, an EF2 tornado with a max winds of 130 um, and miles per hour. And so this is a pretty powerful beast uh, that went for about two miles long. And so the next thing that we're doing, and we want everyone to know, damage assessments. That is the big thing of trying to get those numbers to see if FEMA assistance would be possible. The locals have done a great job. There is a shelter open for folks who may need it. And so we do encourage people to use those shelters, of course, with how hot it has been. As far as that assessment goes, uh, how does that work? And is it already underway? It is underway. So today, our folks completed with the with Jackson County EMA about 115 damage assessments, and they've got a lot more to do tomorrow. So they'll be covering a lot of ground tomorrow. So if you see folks out and about uh, taking pictures of homes, that's exactly what they're doing. But people at home can do this too. You can sub submit your damage, report your damage to MEMA, MSEMA.org, click the report tab, click your county, and then fill out the form, but you can also upload pictures. And we're looking for pictures of the home itself, the walls, the roof, the ceiling, those types of things. We really don't need to see your fence or your dog's house. Um, we need to see your house and the structure of it. And why is it important that people do that as this continues to unfold and assistance might be made available? We need the numbers. We need the damage assessment numbers. So there is a process that goes through it. The, the locals do their damage assessment. MEMA comes in, validates those numbers. And so we're kind of doing that with them right now. Um, and then once those numbers, if it reaches an amount that we feel we, we are gonna need FEMA in here, we'll request FEMA to come in and do their joint damage assessments. Um, then, uh, if we get to that point, we will use FEMA's numbers to request a disaster declaration. But something to keep in mind, we have 30 days to request this disaster declaration. And if the damage is as widespread as we've seen it, it can take a little while to roll up those numbers. So we just ask people to be patient. Even with Rolling Fork, we told folks, this is going to be a very long process. Recovery is a long process. And that's where we are right now. Mallory, thanks so much for being with us on WLOX. Thank you.